be reading again from Psalms today, 16. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand and I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. What keeps you awake at night? Um, I know people that say that they have their most creative thoughts at night. And so they have a notebook right there by their bed on their nightstand. And when they get one of these creative thoughts, I mean, it may be in the middle of the night and they'll sit up and they'll write it down in the notebook. Uh, if you have a newborn, <laughs> you would say, that's what keeps me up at night. You know, we've got a baby that keeps me up at night. Uh, others can't sleep, you know, because uh, they worry about things. And, and then there's still other people that say, you know, I just couldn't sleep last night. I couldn't get my brain uh, to, to shut down. Well, David was probably in that, in that category. Uh, the opening words there in, in Psalm 16 suggest that he'd been thinking a lot. Uh, maybe he was thinking about the people around him, about his own loyalties, about what it would be like to follow God. And I really like what David calls these times. He calls them night seasons. They're not just fleeting moments soon overtaken by sleep, but they're seasons where he and God got honest with each other. He says, I'm not sleeping good at night, but it's a time where, 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 where I get honest with God and God is honest with me. And, and then he said, his heart instructed them, and, and he used the word that means his innermost being, his, his deep soul. And that is what it takes to survive night seasons. I guess notebooks are good, and counting sheep is okay. But if you want to make it through the night season, open up your heart and allow God to minister to you during those times. When you lay there and you're awake and you can't sleep, just talk to God and then listen as God talks to you. Father, we thank you that you come to us at different times. And sometimes it's at night when everything is still and everything is quiet and there are no distractions. And Lord, that we're awake and our focus is on you. Speak to us during those times and move us to the center of who we are. In Jesus' name, amen.